I frequently use my workmates with power tools so I thought what I'd like to do is have a small extension lead and sockets permanently on the workmate that I can coil up when they're not in use but I can quickly uncoil and plug in and I want to be able to control both those sockets with a, a machine on off switch that way I can control the power tool and the um, shop vac with the same switch, turning them both on and off as I'm using the tools. I thought that would be quite a nice mod to do, um, especially as most of my power tool work is done at the workmate. So what I'm thinking is mounting a piece of wood in these grooves here to give me something to then mount a power box like that. Probably use a metal faced box rather than this plastic one. Um, mounting that on there like that having some sort of arrangement to hold the um, extension lead when it's not in use, it's out of the way and then uh, having a wire coming out here to um, this which holds my, my paper roll and then having a switch here out of the way that I can grab to turn both these boxes on and off and that way I'll be able to turn on the hoover and the um, power tool at the same time. important to me that I can still fold my workmate up when I do this. The thing I need to be conscious of is, is this bit here where the step is. If I try and mount this too close it's possibly going to get in the way of the step so I probably have to mount it out here on the piece of wood that's going to fit in here in this area. If I mount it like that and it won't be in the way, so it's about an inch above this strengthening bar. My workmate is an 800 series, which means this bit here can be put up like that to clamp things in this position. What that also means is that it gives me access to this slot here, so I can slot the wood in. Just need to cut it to size and slot it in. And that's also how I change the paper roll when I'm um, spraying. Um, I've got a video on that if you want to watch it. I'm not sure if you'd be able to do it in exactly the same way if you've got a workmate that isn't an 800 series or doesn't have the ability to um, lift the front up. I'm going to cut this by hand. It doesn't seem worth getting the power tools out for a tiny bit of MDF. Perfect. It's a quick summary of the dimensions. So 570 millimeters um, at the top, 520 millimeters at the bottom, and 120 millimeters high, or in old money, 22 inches, 22 and a half inches, four and three quarter inches, and 20 and a half inches. Obviously, you should check that with your own workmate. Here I'm drilling holes big enough for my jigsaw. I'm being careful to not go all the way through. I'm then adding some pilot holes that I do drill all the way through. And now I'm drilling from the other side so I get a clean hole. I'll do this for all four corners. I'm now using the jigsaw to cut the hole out. I then use my spindle sander to tidy up the cuts made with the jigsaw. Using my painting station mod, I cover the workmate with lining paper ready for painting.
the MDF's been used before, so I fill the holes in it with wood filler. And spray some undercoat on the MDF. The paint I'm using is really old but it goes on really well. I can see it came from a shop called The Handyman which closed about 15 years ago. But there's nothing wrong with the paint. I made a jig to cut out some circles in the MDF using my newly restored bandsaw. I then shape the edges using the bandsaw. These parts out on my bandsaw, they're going to be glued in place like so and I'll use them to store the extension lead on the back of the unit. Here I glue all the parts together. clamp them down nice and tight and leave them to dry. OK, let's talk electricity. In the UK we have 240 volts electricity. It used to be 250 years ago and it was changed to 240. Other parts of the world have 220 and America and a lot of Europe has uh, 110. Every country has its own regulations and what you can and can't do and because of that I'm not going to show you how to wire this up but you do need to be very careful even 110 will give you a shock 240 volts could kill you so if you don't know how to wire this up you probably shouldn't be doing this project. What you could do instead if you don't want to wire it up is get yourself a pre-wired extension gang like this one that can be wall mounted and you'll be able to then fit it to the wood instead and um, that, will, that will work just as well. Just a few tips. You want to make sure that when the cable is in here that it's got a strain relief on it so that it can't be pulled out. If you're going to use a metal box you need to make sure that the metal box is earthed. And if you're going to use one of these boxes with the holes you need to put a grommet here so that the metal doesn't wear on the um, on the cable and cause a short. They're the only tips I'm going to provide. Whilst I've got a cable relief on the inside of the box, I've decided to make a cable release for the outside of the box as well. This is very thick cable, it's for outdoor use so it will be perfect in the workshop. <coughs> I made this using a just a piece of plastic and I warmed it up fashioned it to the right shape and it will just hold this cable in place and stop this from wobbling around um, so whilst there's a, a strain relief inside this will um, just stop it from moving about. All that remains now is for me to fix these on here and these are going to be used to coil the cable when it's not in use. It's important I get these holes in the right place, so I drill some pilot holes, ensuring I don't drill all the way through. I then enlarge these holes to the size of the dowels that I'm going to use. 
using a drill bit with a piece of tape as a depth marker. These then just need gluing and putting together with a hammer. I've now fitted the modification that I'm calling PowerMate. I have a confession to make. I said that it was going to have a separate on-off button so that I could control both sockets at the same time. But at the moment it's Christmas, we're in the middle of Brexit and COVID-19 has hit again in the UK and we're in lockdown. I'm not going to be able to get the parts um, for some time. Uh, so that will have to be in a separate video but as a built-in extension lead to the Workmate, it works and it's fitted and is working well. Currently the cable is coiled up on the back and I'll um, show you a view of that now. So this is what it looks like from the other side. So it's very easy to unwind, to use, very easy to pack away and the table can also still be folded flat. If you've enjoyed this video please click the like button and if you want to watch the second half please subscribe. On those rare occasions where you want to saw from this surface on the inside which is not something you do very often and you're worried about hitting the cables and the power mate down here there is a very simple solution you just lift this up remove the paper roll which is my painting station I'll leave a link to that in the description and then you can just remove it and now you're back to a workmate as exactly as it was and it's just as quick to reinstall This is my 10th Workmate mod, if you want to see the others check out the link above. If you have any Workmate mods you'd like to see me make then please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.